Look at this, piles of burned cars all stacked on top of each other, all snaking around a body shop in Morganton. There was a big fire there that burned dozens of cars there, and you can see the flames here kept firefighters busy for about eight hours. Our Dave Faraday spoke to the owner who says this fire could steal his retirement. Well, if you look behind me, you can see what's left of the cars tonight. Dozens of them burned here. Firefighters tell me that one of the things they're looking at is if this fire possibly started from homeless people who were spotted in this area, the owner says 200 cars burned here. The cars, trucks, and minivans were stacked three to four high, several rows deep at Morrison's Body Shop. They were supposed to be sent to a salvage yard, but didn't make it after this fire broke out overnight on New Year's. The owner, Calvin Morrison, says he's out tens of thousands of dollars. I was going to crush next month and retire. I ain't going to get to retire now. I just have to work till I die. Morrison believes homeless people possibly started the fire while trying to stay warm New Year's Eve. Firefighters say just two weeks ago, they responded to another fire at a homeless camp just a few blocks away that damaged several tents. Homeless, I run them off for two months, and they'll come back. They'll build a fire to keep warm. But they're everywhere. Just look in the woods, they're everywhere. Three dozen firefighters from four different departments fought the fire just east of the downtown area. The business shared these photos of the fire as firefighters worked for nearly eight hours to put it out, bringing in heavy equipment to move the cars to get all the hot spots. They was tired. It was, you know, they had a long time of coming of doing this. And we just want to say we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you. And the business says the cars here still will be salvaged, but because the fire did so much damage, they won't get nearly as much money. Back to you.